Letterbomb is a really easy way to hack your Nintendo Wii, and we're going to take a look at the process. To do this, you're going to need a couple of things. First, a Nintendo Wii, obviously, but make sure it's running System Menu 4.3. You'll also need an SD or SDHC card with some free space. You can have other stuff on it, but just make sure there's a little bit of free space on it, too. So first things first, we need to find your Wii's Mac address. Go to your Wii's home screen and click the Wii Options button. Once it loads, choose Wii Settings. From there, navigate to the second page and click the Internet button. Finally, click the Console button and you'll have your Wii's Mac address. Either write this down or just leave it up on the screen. Now get on your computer and go to http colon slash slash please dot hack me, that's me with two eyes, dot com, and enter your Wii's Mac address. You'll also need to type in what you see in the CAPTCHA image. Once you've filled both things out, cut the red or the blue wire, it doesn't really matter. This will generate a letterbomb.zip file that will start downloading. Now insert your SD or SDHC card into your computer because we're going to need to copy some files onto it. First, unzip the letterbomb.zip file on your computer. Next, drag the contents of the zip to your SD or SDHC card. When it's done copying, eject it and put it in your Wii. Okay, so back on the Wii, head on over to the Wii Message Center. There's going to be a new message for you with a bomb on it. But where that message is going to be will depend on your time zone and when you generated the zip file we just dealt with earlier. In most cases, it will be in yesterday's mail, but it could be today or a couple days ago. You'll know when you see it, it's going to have a really big bomb on it. When you are ready to pull the trigger, just click on the letter bomb message icon. The process will take a few minutes, but be patient, you'll have a hacked Wii when it's done. Now you'll have the option of installing Boot Me and the Homebrew channel. To do this, just choose the options on screen to install where you want to install, and you'll pretty much be able to run anything you want on your Wii. 